Well, the IMW in New Delhi was a great success. It was, a, it was really well attended with over 1,500 attendees. We had uh, approximately 100 faculty members giving numerous talks. So when it came time to give my talk on a decade of advances, uh, it, it was kind of challenging since almost everything that is to be said has been said already. So I really uh, took uh, time to think about what are the questions for the future. Um, uh, and, and, and identified some important topics that um, we need to pay special attention to. We've obviously made a great deal of advances, uh, new, new drugs, uh, new diagnostic criteria, new staging system, new response criteria. Survival has improved. Um, but we are not there yet because we are not curing everybody. We are probably not curing too many patients with this disease. We need endless therapy. And um, we don't have a good way of deciding how to deliver all of this complex treatment programs in a cost-effective manner. So I identified critical questions for the next decade. First, um, there are many types of myeloma. It's not one disease. We are treating it as one disease. And this needs to change. And we need to really start looking at myeloma as multiple diseases that we collectively call as one. Um, and how to do that, and how to collaborate um, with various institutions to come together to do that. Um, secondly, um, we, uh, are, we, are we trying to cure this disease, or is it okay to control? Cure means we can deliver the treatment in a very short, defined period of time, and the patients never relapse. Control means giving chronic therapy for many, many years. Um, it, it's quite possible that we can control the disease for many years, uh, even beyond patient's lifespan. But um, for a young patient, cure is still critical, and we need to design uh, regimens and trials that are uh, aiming for a cure, and by which I mean that treatment has to be limited duration, one year and stop, and then a certain subset of patients never ever need treatment again. That should be our challenge and our goal. Um, thirdly, uh, we are, we have to take into account cost and access. Um, due to regulatory reasons, many people do not have access to treatments that are uh, already available. Um, so we need to look at regulatory paths in terms of like, you know, how to bring these drugs quickly into the market for countries which seem to take ages to approve them. Secondly is the cost. The cost is even if the drugs are available and approved, not everybody is able to afford those treatments. And uh, do we as physicians have any power in this or are we powerless? I think we can really make a difference for patients um, by using our influence with the pharmaceutical companies to lower the cost of these drugs. The next challenge, the fourth challenge I highlighted was needing to identify new endpoints. Um, since survival has improved so much, drug development is going to take longer and longer uh, periods of time. Uh, to, in order to show overall survival, you may have to wait five, six years or 10 years, and that's not realistic when you want to bring a new drug into the market. So we need to identify new endpoints. We've done some good work. We have progression-free survival is acceptable now, um, but that still takes many years. So, um, uh, an endpoint that is being studied uh, quite seriously now is minimal residual disease detection. And I think we need to do the right types of trials so that regulatory agencies will use that as a surrogate marker. So we need to do studies that establish the surrogacy of MRD negative state as a, sub as a good predictor of overall survival, which is when we can then approve drugs quickly within a year or two. And then finally, uh, I think Overall, we have been very, very good at do doing um, what I would call tactical trials to get where we want quickly. But the big strategic questions uh, still remain unanswered. And so we need to spend time looking at overall strategy and how to conquer the disease and how to make a huge difference. And these types of trials are hard to do and require many people to come together but they're important and we need to do. For example, can we prevent myeloma? Can we really 
um, prevented from happening? Those are strategic questions. Do we, do we need to um, uh, treat only at the time of symptoms or is there an advantage at treating even when the slightest hint of relapse occurs? Which offers the best quality of life to the patient? Which offers the greatest longevity to patients? Should we cure the disease or is control enough? These are strategic trials that we have to, uh, that we have to do and my call was for everyone to come together to do these kind of trials.